I wanted to shoot a quick video today about um, when you want to buy a car, when you purchase, when you want to purchase a car, um, things you need to look for. Like um, we'll start with the engine. There's things like um, the radiator. Of course, if the thing's hot, you don't want to pop the radiator cap. But hopefully, when you go look at a car, it's already cold, hasn't been started. You can pull the radiator cap off. You can look down in it, side of it, like right here. Now, in this case, this one's bone dry. There's nothing in it, and it's not the. In this particular case, this is a cap into the upper radiator hose, not into the actual radiator. Some systems are made this way, so it's kind of hard to look down in the radiator for, you know, debris or corrosion or stuff. But uh, uh, there's things like checking the uh, oil cap too. When you pull an oil cap off, um, usually it should be oily. Now, if there's signs of it being dry, like this right here, pull it off. You see, it's, it's got a little shine like there's a little bit of oil to it, but if you look at that O-ring, the O-ring is not oily. And um, in a case like this, which I already know is wrong with this car, but uh, it's been running water inside the engine. Uh, the cooling system is leaking over into the oil, causing this to actually burn dry looking. So, uh, And the cap will look like this. You will also want to start looking down the uh, oil filler tube. Some engines have uh, the, the oil filler cap right on top of the valve cover, so you don't have this tube. But in this case, either way you want to look, if you see it dry and chafy looking like this or kind of flaky like that, uh, really no oil film, that's a sign that it's something's drying the oil out like it's running in water um, or they've just run the engine dry of oil. Now let's take a look at the dipstick. If you look at it, you can tell a lot. If you see, you see how the uh, dipstick has got like a brown tan color to it. That's where the uh, oil has been churned in water and it coats the dipstick uh, itself with that coating. It's, a lot of times at the very end of the dipstick it won't look like that, but it, but the vapor of the, it basically it's like almost like chocolate milk or a milkshake type uh, substance that's going on inside the engine with the water mix, but it'll color that dipstick tube. Uh, crazy color like that. So we'll always look for that to see if there's any of that on there. Also always look into the radiator cap. In this particular uh, case on this engine um, you don't have a radiator um, you're not looking down in the radiator. The, up the filler for the coolant is in the actual upper radiator hose. But always be sure to look down inside of it see if it's got fluid in it. If it's great if you can look down in there and look in the radiator and see if the cores are clogged but in this case you just have to look and see if it's got water or if it looks, if it looks like it's been running dry and this one it has been running dry to give you a reference point I just pull the cap off one of these cars here you can see it's covered with oil and that's the way it should look And same with the dip six too. See it's nice shiny clean metal. With the oil down at the end of the stick, not uh, tan colored and burnt looking. Of course this car gets the oil change regularly. I've seen some where they don't get changed regularly and a dipstick would kind of comes black looking. But uh as long as it's got oil film on it, then you know you're you're doing okay. Another thing to look for is with this oil cap off, and the car is if running, and you say you're wanting to buy a car, um, take the cap off while it's running, and if you see it puffing steam or any you know, or oil vapor out of it uh, heavily, then you don't want it because it means it's uh, got blow by going on in the valves, gasket. You've got something blowing by though from the in the compression up through there like that. I mean, they'll do it just a little bit, but compared to a car you know is good and it's not doing it, that will give you an idea of what to look for. But if it's sitting there puffing, uh, you've got something blown. Check for the, you know, check the oil, check the oil quality on the dipstick and the caps. Um, make sure it's actually holding water. Uh, look at the air filter, see if it's covered with oil. If the air filter's got a lot of oil on it, then it means it's also getting blow by. Uh, or it's possible the P, uh, PCV valve is not uh, been changed because if they don't get changed that's what kind of keeps the balance between the crankcase and 
uh, the way it breathes when it's um, pulling fuel in and that, that that levels out it relieves pressure off the crankcase because you've got to realize if your pistons coming up making compression to burn gas on the back side of the piston it's also making kind of like a compression so if you have a PCV system um, with positive crankcase ventilation that balances it out so where there's not any pressure inside the crankcase if that's jammed it can make it start blowing by um, uh, oil into the intake system which will go into your air filter and you can tell by that also be sure to look inside your breather box for oil top bottom pull the filter out look at the bottom see if it's got a lot of oil in it if you can look down the tube it goes to the engine you know for it breathes look in there for also for uh, any kind of oil because uh, there shouldn't be any oil in it at all also take a look at the belts on the uh, side of the engine such as the alternator water pump um, power steering if it has it a lot of cars are electric assist now but take a look at the belts or if it's just one serpentine belt and look for cracks and you can see these cracks wherever the belt is turned around a pulley flip backwards where you can actually see the grooves and you'll want to look for cracks and, and such or shredding in the uh, belt such as this of course this belt is off the car and you know you're probably not going to be able to take the belt off and look at it, but if you see any type of cracks like this in the belt at all, the belt is fixing to go bad. Of course, that doesn't, that's not a sign of a bad engine, but just signs it needs a new belt. But to, that's something to, look aware, to be aware of because it could be an additional cost. Also, never doubt your senses. <clears throat> when you pull the oil cap off, uh, smell it. Smell it for antifreeze or smell it for gas because if, in it, if it's an older car and has a fuel pump that's bolted to the motor, it can leak fuel into the engine. Uh, if it's fuel injected it could actually be leaking gas down into the engine through the injector so smell the cap and see what you smell if it doesn't have if you don't smell anything really then it's probably good if you smell just oil you're probably pretty good on that one as well also trust your hearing start the engine up and listen to it and listen for any kind of odd noises that doesn't sound right squeaking uh, but especially type of tapping and knocks if you hear uh, the following here, then you know not to uh, purchase the car. And like I was saying, go back to your senses, to smells and things. It sounds funny, but you can go back to the tailpipe and smell it, and then actually uh, inspect it. If it's really super dark and black and sooty, yes, that's what an exhaust system looks like, but if it's burning a lot of extra gas, it'll be excessive and you'll smell unburned gas or weird smells. If it's burning antifreeze, you'll smell antifreeze at it. So always be sure to look at the exhaust pipe and uh, kind of smell it and see what uh, what's sitting there uh, just waiting to be detected. This would be on an extreme level, but one thing you can do is pull the radiator cap off or the coolant cap off and crank the engine over or have you know have somebody crank it and somebody watch it. But if you see this following uh, event here, then you know that you've got an engine that is trashed. If you do this little test and you see this kind of uh, behavior where the, the coolant is blowing out of the, uh, when I say the uh, where you pour the coolant in, it's not the plastic jug. That one will not show you anything. But if you can take the cap off where you actually into the main cooling system, like you did upper radiator hose, upper radiator hose, or the um, radiator itself, if you pull that cap off and it is blowing coolant out of it like this when you're cranking it, um, or if it starts and it blows coolant out of it. You've got a blown head gasket, cracked block, cracked head. Uh, you're somehow getting uh, compression from the engine into the cooling system, and that's not normal. So if you see that, you do not want to buy that car. Uh, the, this car just happened to be um, one that uh, came to me with a blown head gasket, actually a cracked head. It turned out to be a cracked head, but I just thought I'd throw that in there just to, for demonstration. <laughs> 